Fanboys, here come the fanboys. I got LeBron James number two on top. Number two on top to Michael Jordan. And it is a crap. It is a crap. And Shannon, put honey on put honey on LeBron. See with his pajamas. I told you, fool, that's Savannah James man already, boy. I told you that's Savannah James man. Anyway. Just like that. Anyway. You saw the look of resignation. Everybody want to talk about D-Lo. 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 He had 6.32 and he had 13. You do know he was the 6 to 20 from the 50. Unless he shot the ball. At least he shot the ball. LeBron didn't want to shoot the ball at all. Paul Pierre was on the other network talking about uh, he was tied and dead legs. And Keyshawn and Skip talking about, nah, he was uh, powerless because he got mad at D-Lo for some reason. Well, if you if you ask everybody in the media that who love plus minuses and all these advanced matches and stuff, D-Lo was the only person on the court for the Lakers that had a plus minus. He was plus two when he was out there on the court. Let that sink in, ladies and gentlemen. But now we don't bring up plus minus because we don't it don't fit our narrative. Y'all gotta stop this fake shit. Hey, Fifty Cent, holla at me. Now let me. You got the studio in the street port. I'm down the street. We in Houston. I'm down. The street. Get me there. Let's let's turn sports media, hip hop media, politics media back into real news again, and not fake news. How these fake ass want to be analysts, just personalities, B riders, fanboys. Don't break down the game. Don't understand the game. Let me tell you what happened in the game. This is what happened, yeah. This, and this is LeBron James for the last three or four years. He's scoring every. So LeBron James like to score, the, score a lot of points when the, 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 the Lakers up up big, and he scores a lot of points when they down big. So he don't accumulate to win it. It, it doesn't affect when every every team got a, a sorry a, a good player that can score. I mean, that's a good player that can score a lot of points. Why you think? Why you think niggas average 25, 30, 24 points and don't make the playoffs? It's because they scoring points like LeBron. He scored points when the Lakers was up big. He was scoring points when the Lakers up big, and he was scoring. And then last year he was scoring a lot of points when they was down big. And he and that's that's been a theme for the last four four years of his career in L.A. Scoring a lot of points. He not scoring points when the game is tight, when the game is close, in that clutch time, or when the game is 50-50, 40-40, the tie of his two possession, one possession game. He doesn't get his points in, 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 in that time period. That's why the Lakers lose. That's why. LeBron then had seven turnovers. He had more turnovers than the whole Denver Lakers team combined. He had seven. Denver Lakers had four. This man took, this man scored two points in the fourth quarter. Two points. It looked like, it reminded me of 2011 Dallas Mavericks all over again. He scored a, a layup. Minus layup in garbage time. And the game already over with. 30 some seconds left. Man, but just pass that ball. Pass that ball too. Then he had the two turnovers in the fourth quarter. Didn't even run Jokic out. He running Jokic. You can't, you can't, you, you, you can't. You just gave up on your play. Jokic turn around, look back like you're going to pass it and dunk it. That's the play right here I'm talking about. He didn't even try to, he didn't even try to contest that. That's a bad, lazy turnover. Uncharacteristic. No, it's not uncharacteristic. That's what he do. He's the all-time leading turnover. He's the all-time leading turnover. Let me tell you what happened when the Lakers, when the Lakers got on that run. LeBron gave him everything they got. It's the same thing happened last year in the, in the first half. They pay him tight. They give him their biggest, they give him their best shot. And I'm, I'm telling my brother, I'm telling my brother. Lakers gave their best shot. They only up three. And LeBron had to hit that deep three to get, put him up three. I'm like, oh, this is over. I'm like, this, this ain't have over. They finna run away with it. Came in the third quarter, blew him out the court, right? Thing is, and, and, and that's what I be telling people, like, Lakers are their best shot, and that's it. And LeBron be top. I seen LeBron do that about eight, nine years ago against the finals against uh, Golden State. When he had Kyrie and Kevin Love, he giving their best shots in the first half. He having big, he having big first half scoring, and the second half, he ain't got nothing left. Now, he spent a million dollars on his body, but he always tired, and they always making excuses. Oh, them legs tired. He, him dead leg. He, his jump shot gone. Kobe Bryant is a primary jump shooter for his whole entire fucking career, and nobody ever gave him that excuse for him. his legs being tired. His legs being tired. That's why he shoots 44.7% from the field. Nobody ever says that, but when it comes to this bitch, they always say that excuse. I'm sorry, but y'all, 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 I'm a hate y'all. I hate the media. I hate how disingenuous. I don't like disingenuous people. They're just a, a pet people that I would never get over in my life. No matter how Christian I get, no matter how much I pray, Lord, no matter how much I might like the person or I like shit and I like skip and they like funny, they talk. When you disingenuous, I would never like you as a person. And that's what the media, whole media do. So I want, I just want to explain that to the, the people. But the Denver Nuggets won this game. They got good minutes from DeAndre Jordan. Nobody talk about DeAndre Jordan minutes enough. He got four points. Four points enough. Because sometimes he, he's on the bench. He ain't ready. He don't get no points. He don't get in the game. So he had four points, block shots, rebound, contested shots. Got out there and switched a bit. That little time he was on the floor, the spare, the call of Jokic, defensively and giving him four points was very, very big. We can't underestimate that. So what they got from DeAndre Jordan in game one, and then Jamal Murray going to shoot better. Michael Porter going to shoot better. Aaron Gordon going to shoot better. He never get in foul trouble in the first half, so LeBron, they can get off like that. Pause, no dick. They're going to play better in Denver, like the, 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 uh, the call of Murray. But they still falling. They plan and They're sitting back. So we just did a good job protecting the ball, and we're going to shoot better. So the Lakers in trouble. Lakers in trouble. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, share the video, cool video. I'll see you on the next one.